Welcome, my dear students, to a new week. In this week, we will start with chapter 25.2, and we will talk about the respiration in animal. As we know, we have two types of animals. We have the aquatic animal and the land animal. The difference between them has inside their anatomical structure of having organs that are responsible for the gas exchange in their body. First of all, when we talk about uh, the respiration, then we describe the characteristic that the respiratory structure of all animals share, whether they have in common or they have differences between them. And we will talk in details how aquatic animals breathe and identify the respiratory structure that enable land animals to breathe. So we're going to compare between the land animal and the aquatic animal in their anatomical structures between the organs that are responsible for the gas exchange inside uh, the water or outside in the land. Now, when we talk about land, then we are talking about the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in an organ such as lungs and alveoli. In compared to the aquatic animal, where they use the, uh, the pressure and they use the gas exchange during the service of the skin as a type or as a method of gas exchange. Now, when we talk about uh, exchanging the gases, then we are talking about the exchange between the carbon dioxide and the oxygen, where they take out carbon dioxide away from your body and entering the oxygen inside your body. When a uh, first thing, when we talk about the aquatic animals, how do the aquatic animal breathe? Now, aquatic animals, they contain a gel filaments. This gel filaments, it's the one responsible for the gas exchange. It contains a blood vessels. These blood vessels can exchange between the oxygen-rich blood and the uh, oxygen-poor blood, which means that it's the, talking about the blood that contains carbon dioxide and the blood that contains the oxygen. Between these two, the gas exchange inside or underwater will go through this gel filaments. Filaments mean it's a very thin layers where it's easier for the oxygen and the carbon dioxide to diffuse between them to be able to uh, uh, to exchange the uh, the gas. As you can see, the shell filaments in here, which is behind the eyes, and this is where the gas exchange occurs. Also, uh, one type of uh, method of entering the blood, entering to the bloodstream, is by the uh, using the mouth. Other type of uh, other types of animal, which is respiratory service in land invertebrates, which is in animals. How do the airflow uh, goes through their uh, the animals, whether book lungs or uh, or using a trachea? Sometimes between the differences of the type of the animals. Uh, for example, in here we're talking between spider and a grasshopper. Other type of uh, animals like vertebrates, which is using the lungs as a human. In the lungs, we have the nasal cavity, which is the mouth and the nose, where the air gets into the lungs to the, uh, uh, using the throat into to reach to the bronchi, al alveoli, and then the gas exchange will happen there. Now, um, Diversity of lungs between different types of animals. We will have different structures of uh, lungs and how do they uh, work through the gas exchange. 